Being diagnosed with ADHD can be hard, but being undiagnosed is even harder. Here's part three of things I wish I knew before getting diagnosed. First, hi, I'm ADHD Mike. I make educational mental health videos primarily relating to ADHD and co-occurring mental disorders. If you or someone you know has ADHD, make sure you hit that follow button. I make new content daily. Some of the hardest part about getting diagnosed with ADHD is being able to identify kids and adults who display limited symptoms. First off, not every person who has ADHD is gonna act the same. Because a lot of my symptoms tend to match a lot of what people with ADHD have. I was hyperactive, impulsive, and loud at first, but after time, I began to hide those parts of me I didn't like, the parts that kept getting me in trouble. That's how my anxiety started with me trying to figure out how not to be in trouble. The second part is parents are supposed to report if they notice their kid acting a different way. But as we all know, ADHD is hereditary. So how is a usually undiagnosed parent supposed to tell what normal is like? What do you mean he has ADHD? He acts just like me, is a common phrase uttered, leaving a lot of kids like me who didn't struggle with schoolwork left behind. I believe every student should be screened for ADHD and other disorders and conditions to eliminate children slipping through the cracks. They already take thousands of tests. Why not give them one that will help them get treatment and the help they deserve? Thanks for watching the end. Oh. And don't forget to hit that like button.